What's up guys, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the UI changes in iOS 9. So first up we have the font. So in iOS 8 we had Helvetica New, but in iOS 9 we have a new font called San Francisco font. Now this is actually a font that I showed you guys a while back in a video of how to get that on your iOS 8 device right now. But if you guys didn't see that video, they're actually very similar in terms of what the font looks like. One place you can actually tell a difference is the numbers. So if you take a look at the clock, and then you take a look at the clock on iOS 8, you can tell the difference there just because there's some swoops on the ones and some more rounded corners on Helvetica New than there are in San Francisco font. But otherwise, the font, the actual lettering, it's pretty similar. Next up, we have a redesigned podcast app. So you can actually see if we swipe over here and open that up, that we have a new unplayed option right here. That's basically going to allow you to see what podcasts that you've subscribed to that are unplayed. We also have a bit of a redesign here in my podcast. So if we tap on this, you can see we have a list view rather than, you know, that card view that we had in iOS 8. Of course, if we tap on one of these, you can see that we have basically a whole lot more information about the uh, podcast right there. And of course, if we go ahead and start playing one, let's go ahead and start playing this one here. You can see that we actually have a redesigned media player right there. Now, of course, if you want to, you have this little arrow right up here at the top left hand corner that you can swipe down and that's going to give us that media player that we're gonna be able to minimize right there as we continue navigating through the podcast app. Next up, of course, we have the app switcher. So you can see if we go ahead and activate the app switcher, that we get a brand new look right here. We have the icons right up here at the top. You'll notice that we get that blurred out effect as we scroll over to the left. You'll see that blurring out of those applications. Of course, this is all just going to allow you to swipe through and uh, go through all of your applications. Of course, if you want to close out of an application, then you can just swipe up just like you did on iOS 8, just like that. And hitting that home button is going to bring us back to that home screen. Spotlight also got a bit of a redesign here. If we go ahead and swipe down, you'll notice that we have a new just rounded corner rather than square cornered search box right there. And if you want to voice dictate your search, then you can just tap that button right there, which wasn't there in iOS 8, it was on the keyboard. And you also notice right up here, the whole search bar is actually transparent when in iOS 8 there was some opaqueness to it. You also notice in the camera app here, if we go ahead and open that up, that we have some UI changes here. You'll notice right up here in the top left hand corner that for the flash, rather than having that on or off word right up there at the top, that we actually can just turn this on. It's going to highlight that. And you also get a little indicator right down here. You can also turn this off and you'll see that it gets a little mark through right there, but we're just gonna leave this on auto. And also right up here at the top, they actually switched the HDR and the timer. So it used to be HDR then timer, now they switched that in iOS 9. And of course the HDR works the same way as the flash. If you have it turned on, then it's going to highlight that. We also have a back button that's going to allow us to go back to search or to a specific application. So if we just tap on one of these, you'll see right up here at the top, right where it says no service, it's actually going to give us a back to search. So we can just tap on that and go directly back to the application. So this is gonna be really helpful, especially when you're in an application and you tap on something, it opens up another app. If you didn't wanna to go to another application automatically, then you can always just tap that button to go back rather than going into your app switcher and doing that. Also for the share sheet here, if we go ahead and tap on that, you'll notice that we have these rounded corners, so it looks a little bit different than in iOS 8. You'll also notice that we only have three applications that are visible, and you have to swipe over to get to the other ones rather than four like we had in iOS 8, which not probably something that I really like. I'd rather have four applications right here. This just looks like it's wasting too much space, and especially on the iPhone 5S where we have just a little bit of the app showing right there. So if you're reading through an article here and you wanted to actually go into reader mode, then you can just tap on this button right here. So if you tap on that, you actually get quite a few different options if you tap on this button right here. So that's gonna give us a menu that allows us to change the size of the font, change the color of the background of the text, and then you can actually change the font of the text right through here, and it actually gives you basically a preview of what that text looks like. So that's a really nice feature to have. Now, if you guys have used the Apple Watch or you've seen Siri used on the Apple Watch, and you know it has a different UI than on iOS 8. Well, in iOS 9, it's actually matched. So you can see right here that we have just that nice little waveform that looks a whole lot better, in my opinion, than on iOS 8. So that's just another little tweak that we have here on iOS 9. Now, another awesome feature in iOS 9 is being able to use the search in settings. So you can see right here that if we just type in camera, this is going to give us all the camera settings that we would ever need in the settings rather than having to dig through all those menus and everything trying to find exactly what you're looking for. Now another addition is obviously the keyboard. This is one that I really, really enjoyed having 
on a jailbroken device. It was a tweak called Showcase, but now it's native to iOS 9. So you can see right here that all of our keys are actually lowercase, and that's because the shift key is turned off. But if I hit that shift key, then all the letters go capitalized. So that's giving you an idea of whether or not the shift key is on or off, because with that UI change in iOS 8, nobody could tell whether that shift key was either on or off just by that highlight. So this is giving you a whole lot better representation of what you're going to be typing on the keyboard right there. Now here in the Maps app, if we go ahead and tap right up here at the top, you'll notice that we get some options right here that's going to give us some points of interest for nearby locations. So if you're looking for food, drink, shopping, or anything like that, then you can just tap on one of those and it's going to drop a pin nearby, allowing you to decide where you wanna go. Now you also notice that we have a completely different uh, animation or waveform for dictation, as you can see right here. In iOS 8, we actually just had just a straight line that would you know go back and forth, but here we have just a ton of vertical lines that are allowing us to see exactly what we're typing. So just a little bit of a different look for iOS 9. Now we also have a new option right up here. So if we go ahead and highlight this, you'll notice that we have, if we tap to the right, we have a share button. It's basically going to just give us a little bit easier route to share that link if you want to do just that. Now you can also see here in the Maps app that we actually have a new option right here rather than just drive, walk, and then this was actually apps. Now it says transit. So this is basically going to give you the ability to navigate cities using public transport, including buses, subways, and even ferries. So this is going to give you a step-by-step -step directions to your route. And obviously it's going to tell you how long it's going to take until you reach that destination. Now here, if we wanted to tap on print, this is actually gonna give us a little bit of a different look than what we normally would get, because you can see that we actually have a print preview here down at the bottom, which we didn't get in iOS 8, which is actually pretty nice. And also, if you have a Wi-Fi printer and you select that right here, then you're gonna get some options like double-sided or color. And you can also have a toggle for black and white if you wanna to toggle that on. Of course, you probably already noticed this, but you'll see if I tap on the share sheet here, this is basically how all the new menus look you have these rounded corners for several UI elements like alerts, action sheets, and everything like this. So it just looks a little bit different, probably better. Now in iOS 8, these corners were actually rounded. These are just a little bit more accented and more rounded than in iOS 8. Now we can't talk about iOS 9 without talking about the iPad. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up Safari, you'll notice that if we swipe over, that we have this slide over view. And slide overview is going to basically give you the ability to multitask with uh, basically an application right here in the sidebar on top of whatever application that you're in in full screen back here. So you can open up applications right here. So you just open up your notes app if you want to go through here and go through your notes. But of course, if you want true multitasking, you can actually slide this over into split views. Now split view is basically going to give you the ability to use both of these applications at the exact same time as you can see right there. So maybe you're watching something over here and you're taking notes on whatever you're watching or whatever you're reading over here. So it basically just gives you that ability to use two applications at the exact same time. Now, not only that, you can see right here that we also have picture in picture. So if we open up our videos, you can see if we swipe down here, we can actually start playing a video right here. Let's actually mute it or actually pause it. And then we just tap this little button right here and this is going to pop that video out. And this is actually gonna work on the home screen as well. So you can just make it bigger. You can swipe it over here, dock it where you want to. And then if you wanna get rid of it or put it back, you can actually close it right here. Or if you wanna put it back into the application, you can see that it opens right back up in that application. So really awesome feature for iOS 9. Also with the new iPad, we have a brand new quick type keyboard. So you can see right here that we have shortcut bars right up here at the top. So if we just start typing something out, you can see that I have it bold, italicized, and underlined, and that's all from right here. So we can just turn that off. And you can also see right over here, let's just say that we wanted to highlight this. We'll select, and you can see that you have the cut, copy, and paste. So if we copy this, you can see that when we paste it, it's just gonna continuously go through right there. Of course, if we highlight it all again, and we cut it, of course it's gonna go away, and if we paste it, it's gonna go right back in. So that's just giving you the whole lot more usability out of your keyboard, allowing you to do things a whole lot quicker, especially editing text right there within your email or notes app or anything like that. So as you can see, there's been many significant changes in the interface. So let me know what you guys think about all these changes in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right guys, until next time, peace.